With the release of Wuthering Waves, many players have struggled to run the game citing performance issues. This video will explore some tweaks you can do to the game and is mostly targeted at mid to low end hardware. As a disclaimer, modifying game files and using third party plugins is against the game's TOS, so use this at your own risk. So aside from dropping all the settings to low, what can be done to further boost frame rate? By default, Wuthering Waves' full screen mode is actually borderless full screen. But, by changing the parameter, you can get it to run on exclusive full screen mode. Locate the user game settings file in the shown directory and edit it with Notepad. Change full screen mode to zero. Make sure you also change resolution size lines to your monitor's resolution. Then save and close. On low end systems, you can see a slight performance increase. More any tweaks can be made to lower graphical fidelity in the game, giving your PC an easier time to render the game. If the performance gain is not near enough to be playable, you can further decrease graphical quality. Now to do the same thing, but with the engine.ini file. I will post the settings you need to paste into the file in the description below. Screen percentages like render scale and Genshin Impact. Set this to a number lowest comfortable with. Foliage density scale affects the grass size. This value can be set between 1 and 0. I recommend a value of 0.7 to 0.5 for mid-range, 0.2 for low-range, and 0 for potato. Though, I only recommend this for very low-end systems. The notable difference in this config is fog and grass are also disabled. If you want to undo any of these, just remove the inserted lines from the config file. For the full screen mode revert, you can just change your in-game setting to windowed and back to full screen for borderless mode again. If you are getting micro freezing in game, every time you open a chest, capture an echo, or enter a new area, this is because Unreal Engine 4 needs to compile shaders for the game. This is normal to experience. Eventually subsequent sessions in the same place won't have this problem. I will mention some potential fixes to this surfacing online, but I have not found any relative success in any of these changes. The best course of action would be just letting the game get better over time. If you own a Nvidia card, the shader cache size can be set to a bigger size, though it's not clear if this helps speed up shader compilation. There are a lot of Reddit threads that offer any tweaks that do more than just change graphic settings. I will post some in the description, but your mileage will vary. I haven't personally found them of any benefit. If when you stutter, you see your ping also spike at the same interval, I do not think this is related to shaders. I experience this too, and it usually only happens a few minutes after logging in or after alt-tabbing, it seems to be a game issue. I have noticed it happening while textures load into the world. A lot of misleading videos claim to be Wuthering Waves FPS guides, but cover various windows and general PC optimizations. Things like disabling Xbox Game Bar, turning on game mode and hardware accelerated GPU scheduling may benefit your system, but I highly recommend against running any registry edits or unknown applications. The next section will focus mid to high end systems. These methods revolve around making the game feel smoother, but don't increase FPS, which is why I recommend to stay away from these if your system already struggles to run the game. There is a 60 FPS cap in Wuthering Waves. For those with high refresh rate monitors and high end systems, you can unlock 120 FPS. Just a precaution, it is unknown if this particular edit is against WW rules, so user discretion is advised. For mid-range systems that can't run comfortably above 60, 
but want to take advantage of high hertz screens. There is a program on Steam called Lossless Scaling. It has frame generation which, to put short, creates fake frames in between current frames, so the game will feel like it's running at 120. There is a FPS hit, so I recommend not using this unless you have the overhead too. You can also combine it with AMD FSR or Lossless Scaling's own upscaling method to not have a huge performance hit and gain some smoothness. I use it myself, and I'm happy with the results. Absolutely do not use this. At frame rates below 45, even if it is doubling your frames, the lower frames it has to work with, the higher the input lag and ghosting will be. Those are all the methods I have discovered to help you generally run the game a bit better. If any other information is later found by me or somebody else, I will pin the comment here or present the findings in another video. Happy gaming.